Hi Leo, this is your January 10th through January 16th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Magician. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Star, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the Two of Cups with the Six of Wands and uh, the Queen of Wands in the potential outcome. And we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Well, something is lighting up the fire underneath this person's butt and they're rushing in trying to seal the deal with you as quickly as possible. But um, I think for some of you, Leos, it could be you triggering this person. It could be you tricking this person a little bit. And I'm not judging you. It's just, you know, perhaps this person was taking their time. They were dragging their feet and you got tired of waiting for them. And you're like, you know what? Um, I think I want to go out on a date with this other person. And they're like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Here I come. <laughs> it could be something like that. But again, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. For others of you, if you're not uh, doing that, if you if you are not triggering this person, then uh, this person will pretty much trigger themselves because we do have a lot of fast-moving energies, right? The eight of wands on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, is one of the fastest cards in the deck. It's a card of communication. It's a card of travel. Um, if this person is at a distance for you, they'll be coming over, they'll be paying you a visit. But the Eight of Wands is also a Cupid's Arrows card, so perhaps this person is just falling for you really hard, and that's why they're coming in so quickly. Um, but uh, the Eight of Wands, like I said, is one of the fastest cards in the deck, pretty much. The first card I came out is the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights. Um, and uh, the Ace of Swords right next to them, this is a card of determination, this is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who's just coming in. Uh, this is a very decisive energy, right? And it's kind of symbolic that the cards came out the way they did, because the Knight of Swords is holding out the sword, right? And uh, that's exactly the sword I think we see in the Ace of Swords. It's all about determination, it's all about moving forward, it's all about conquering, it's all about victory. And um, uh, the Magician, clarifying that Knight of Swords, the Magician, um, it, oh, it sometimes the Magician comes through as a card of a trickster. So that's why I was saying that perhaps this is you who is sort of giving this person a nudge <laughs> to finally start moving their feet. But the Magician could also be their energy. This is them like really, really wanting you. Uh, this is them manifesting you into their life. The Magician is also a card of action, so they are definitely taking action towards you this week. Right, then we have the Star, clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Star is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, or the Star is a wish come true. And what's interesting is that there is two wish come true, wish granted cards in the Tarot deck, and both of them are on the table, and uh, as a matter of fact, one is clarifying the other. The Nine of Cups clarifying the star is also a card of a wish come true. The Nine of Cups is also a card of personal satisfaction. Right, so you see, I know that card is partially blocked, but this person sitting down in the uh, Nine of Cups is definitely satisfied. <laughs> satisfied with the outcome. Um, in the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups with the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection. This is a card of two people being on the same page, two people having mutual feelings towards each other, and uh, it's also a card of unconditional love. Then we have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of victory. This is a card of success, and uh, that could be your victory, because, uh, again, if you played that little game with them, then you're definitely feeling victorious, you're definitely feeling satisfied with it. And again, there's nothing wrong with that, to give people a nudge, to give people a push, if they're slow. <laughs> right? Uh, the Queen of Wands, right next to the deck, that's you. That is definitely you, Leo, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So this whole spread is a victory for you, Leo. It, you know, if, if you like someone and uh, they are just not getting it, they're not getting the hints or they're just dragging their feet or they think that uh, they are uh, the one in charge here. Sometimes it's okay to prove them wrong. 
they're not in charge, you are. <laughs> right? But this person, I like the fact that this person is so determined. It's not like this person is um, somebody who will... This person is a fighter. This person is definitely a fighter. They're coming in to uh, conquer you. Right? But uh, it's like you're playing this little game with them either way it's like you're you want this person you like this person yourself but uh, you're gonna make sure that they chase you they chase after you right and uh, that's the game that's the name of the game but um, it's all good it's all good <laughs> um, you're just you just want to make sure that this person you know um, treats you right and uh, that they never take you for granted I think that's like a pre, pre, preemptive action, so they never take you for granted. That they will always leave this, this idea in the back of their head that, uh, you know, you can always leave them if they start taking you for granted. I think that's what you're doing here. It's very smart, it's very wise. They should be treating you accordingly, the way you deserve. Because you're a Leo, you're a lioness, <laughs> right? Really happy for you, Leo. Congratulations. Leo, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person going forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Leo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands, and we also have Strength on the bottom of the deck. Strength on the bottom of the deck, that is your personal card, Leo, that's you, unless you're dealing with another Leo. This whole spread is about, I think, the two of you um, deciding between two different things, two different options, two different destinations if you're about to go on vacation. And once that decision is reached, uh, you're pretty much implementing that. You're moving forward with it, right? And uh, since we got your card here, the strength card, I think you're going to be kind of like the, um, <laughs> the, in, with the one with the initiative here, or the one um, whose choice will be respected, so to speak, if you know what I mean. Right, uh, so we have the Six of Pentacles, the first card I came out. This is a card of a decision, so you're deciding between two different options, two different uh, destinations if you're traveling, if you're thinking of traveling. Right, and uh, with the Ace of Swords, uh, a decision will be reached. Right, and uh, the Eight of Wands right next to the deck, this is either a communication, perhaps you have to reach out to, to somebody, perhaps you have to get back to somebody, or the Eight of Wands is a card of travel. You know, probably by air, but you could be traveling by train, by car, what have you. So yeah, <clears throat> I don't really see a conflict here, nothing like that. So hopefully, you know, it could be an easy decision for you. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also, keep in mind where you are in Venus retrograde right now and uh, Mercury retrograde is about to start on the 14th so yeah it's uh, more excess than usual could resurface and here comes one of them we have uh, the Ace of Wands we have the Queen of Wands we have the Emperor clarified by the Three of Cups and we also have the star on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an Aries or um, an Aquarius or pretty much any zodiac sign so I think the Emperor is the person trying to re unite with you right the emperor could be an aries it's the personal aries card or the emperor um, is perhaps somebody who's stepping up this person is now in control this person is now ready for a commitment because the emperor often comes through as the future husband or the future significant other figure some of you could have been married to this person that's where they're coming in with the emperor um, symbol right the Three of Cups clarifying the Emperor is a card of a union, but in this, I think in this case it's a card of a reunion. For some of you, if you're going to an event or a party or a gathering, you could be running into this person, or they could invite you to a concert or a party or a gathering all of a sudden, right? The first card I came out is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning between you and this person and uh, if they are an Aries it makes total sense because uh, Aries is also a fire sign just like you Leo 
right? If they're not in the areas, I think they'll be playing by your rules, <laughs> right? Because you see how we have the Queen of Wands in the middle, and I think that's you, Leo. The the Queen of Wands sitting down, but the Queen of Wands is holding up the the wand, right? And I think that's exactly the wand we see in the Ace of Wands, and I think it's pretty much, uh, you know, they're ready to play by your rules, and I don't. I think your rules are good, <laughs> especially if uh, they were not committal, especially if they were all over the place. Now they are stepping up now, they're ready to get serious. The star on the bottom of the deck is the personal Aquarius card, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or the star is a card of healing, the star is also a card of a wish come true. So it would be a wish come true for them if you were to give them a second chance. So yeah, think about it and um, let them know. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo. This week we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Hierophant, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, and we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Libra. So there is definitely um, a, a bunch of people getting together, <laughs> right? The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and then, and then there is also you. A king and or queen of uh, wands that's missing here, but I think that all all of you, you know, it you know, it doesn't have to be three people. It could be more than three people here, but those two will probably stand out. You could be starting a business together, right? Because we have the hierophant right next to the two queens, and we also have justice. And the hierophant is qualified by the nine of pentacles. The hierophant could be something formal, something official. The Nine of Pentacles, clarifying the Hearth, and it's all about making money, right? The Nine of Pentacles is a is a is one of the best cards to have when it comes to work, business, and finances. And justice on the bottom of the deck, perhaps it's just something legal, right? So if you're starting a business together, you'll have to submit paperwork. For some of you, you could be um, already working for the same company, and perhaps all of you are getting together to work on a project or something like that. But there's definitely... A whole bunch of people collaborating and hopefully it'll make you money, a lot of money. But it is something formal and something official with those Hierophant and the uh, Justice card. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Leo. We have the Chariot, we have the Page of Cups, we have the Sun and uh, we also have uh, Temperance on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Sagittarius. I can interpret this a couple of different ways. Uh, what you're not expecting could be somebody coming over <laughs> unannounced all of a sudden or somebody is inviting you to go on a trip together with them or together with a group of people another way to interpret this is uh, perhaps somebody is going to apologize to you right um, so yeah the chariot the first card I came out it could be a cancer you're dealing with or the chariot is somebody literally coming over or somebody is inviting you to go on a trip together the Page of Cups is either that invitation or it's an apology coming from someone. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck, so you'll definitely be happy about this development. Temperance on the bottom of the deck is the personal Sagittarius card, so a Sagittarius could be dropping by or inviting you. Or Temperance is all about healing, bearing the hatchet and uh, reconnecting. So this person, whoever they are, you know, they could be a friend, it could be an ex, it could be um, anybody. Right? But I think uh, at the end of the day, you know, you'll be happy to see this person. You'll be happy to go to, together with this person. You'll be happy that they're apologizing to you, whatever the situation. All right, so yeah, that's what I got for you, Leo, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Leo, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.